Join Town Pump's Pump It Up Rewards Plus program and never pay full price for fuel again. Save five cents on every gallon every day at any Town Pump across Montana. Plus, earn and redeem points on your favorite in-store items to get free stuff with our clubs. Stop in and pick up a rewards card. Download the Pump It Up Rewards Plus app today. Or visit townpump.com slash rewards to register and start saving. Everybody, welcome to the week seven press conference. We've got the University of Idaho coming to town after a bye week, and uh, we've got Coach Hawk with us. And Coach, we'll just start there. Uh, how's the locker room feeling after a bye week? A week of rest for the guys. Uh, was it productive for your team? And then your initial thoughts looking ahead to the Idaho Vandals. Okay. Um, I'll try to be loud for you all. Um, coming off an open day, you know, we had a couple of few good practices. Uh, we got some recruiting evaluations done, and, and hopefully we have a, a fairly fresh team, or as fresh as you can be this time of year. Um, Idaho is a huge game this weekend. It's our second oldest rival in terms of number of games played. Uh, they got a very good team, so uh, like where we're at. I think they probably like where, where they're at. They're on a three-game winning streak, coming off an open day. Questions. Coach, you mentioned both of you coming off of a bye. How's that added to the dynamic? I guess does it affect your preparation at all? How does it add to the dynamic? The oh. fact that there is you guys are both coming off by no games last week. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know what you think of open days. We're, we're trying to have our schedule be as you know normal as as it always is. Um, like I said, had we had a few good practices last week. I don't know. That, it, I'd be interested to hear how they prepare. We always talk as coaches on what you do on an open day. That's pretty mixed. I don't, I'm not sure how. I think they are, you know, sending us an interview report. Coach, what's the When it comes to practicing during the open week, is it just more focusing on things you can kind of clean up, or how, how do you guys kind of utilize that practice time? Um, it's, no, it's more on the opponent. It's, it's really Kyle. It's about them and their scheme. So, kind of got to jump on that. And, uh, you know, we got a chance to look at some things we like against some things they do. And how just important is it, you know, if this by middle, halfway through the season, just to get the players to get a chance to kind of reset a little bit, especially at this point of the year uh, with such a tough portion of the schedule coming up? I, I don't know. Uh, I've never really, you know, if you, if you can get healthy, it'll help you. Um, I've never really liked uh, breaking up the routine when, when you're on a roll, but that's all just BS. I sit here and kind of need something to talk about because it's there, so you deal with it as best you can. They didn't ask me for me to go ahead and play my last weekend. How similar does Idaho look after the last couple of years? Or are, are they drastically different under this now? Um, they look similar. Everybody's doing the same things on offense unless you're playing an option team. So everybody looks similar. So they're, they're not reinventing the wheel. Uh, they're playing hard. They look really physical, which is uh, certainly like they've been. Uh, they look like they're enjoying the game, having fun playing. They have been so physical since they got back into the league. Uh, what's been the biggest difference for them here in this first five games? Between uh, they're, they're, they're just more consistently winning this year. Yeah, I'd say that's the difference. I, I don't know why that is. And how about the quarterback, Idaho's quarterback? He's, he's very efficient these first couple games in uh, league play. He seems like he's really improved. Yeah, he's done a good job. He's really balanced on offense, run fast. Um, and then the quarterbacks lead the nation in completion percentage. So, uh, yeah, that's a concern. I, highly efficient. That's because he's leading the nation in percentage. And not turning it over. I don't know that they have an interception. I don't think so. 
With Idaho having been in the FBS for a few years and they came back a little weaker than they had been in years past, you mentioned they're finally looking you know, strong again. Do you feel like it's restored the rivalry in a sense, or how do you feel about the current state of this, this game? Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, like you said, they're the second oldest rival on our, on our schedule in terms of games played. Um, how many years have been back to this five? Six. Sure. And then you know the win on Saturday will tie the most wins over Idaho by coach in program history. Is that something you knew about or something that's any any important to you? No, it's a failing of our sports information. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. I take any you're new, I take any opportunity for us to take his job so I can get <laughs> No, I mean, appreciate that. In fact, yeah. Bobby, just I guess, how familiar were you with kind of Jason X work prior to getting Idaho? Did you guys cross paths much, or in? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know if at all. Does it like see? It seems almost like there's kind of like a little bit of a rejuvenation just because of some of their success. Like, do you guys see that just? You know, just with some of that success, or do you think that maybe translates just because people are a little bit excited about what he brings to that program? Is that? Say it one more time. It seems like kind of with his hiring, a little, few more wins, seems like the program itself at Idaho is getting a little bit more rejuvenated. Is that something you guys have noticed, or is that something you see just kind of with when you see a guy like him come in and uh, have a little bit of early success? Um, they're three and two. Uh, they're a good team. I, I think they've been a good team. You talked a little bit last year. Uh, obviously, you guys have the bye, you know, in the middle of non-conference play. Does it, do you feel like it makes a big difference having the bye later in the season, where you're not having to play banged up against some of those teams in October, like last year? Uh, well, you know, last year we were down guys pretty much out for the season. So that, that can get him back in that case. Um, I don't know. It, like I said, it would have been good. It comes to my team. And as far as self scouting goes, you mentioned getting those practices in. How much of it is you know watching film? How much of it is actually having the time to correct things you see in practice when it comes to self scouting during the bye week? Uh, well, it's both. It, it all stems. Everything comes from from film. Uh, we're watching our film. They're watching our film. So, you know, and you go out and probably get a little extra time on them. I don't know. You know we're not going to go out and, some coaches historically would go out and scrimmage 6 or 70 plays on a Saturday when, when uh, they didn't have a game just to keep your edge. We, we did not do that. Anybody else? Nobody? Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. In a few minutes, small business owners can now sign up for Blackfoot Communications Services. Whether it's dependable voice options or internet services, sign up simply by visiting blackfootsmallbusiness.com. Click on the services you wish, select an installation time and date, and you're done. Small business services at the touch of your fingers. Connect to more with Blackfoot Communications and blackfootsmallbusiness.com.